No, I agree with you. I agree. Whatever you just yeah, said. We don't want anything exciting. We just want very bland play style. Nothing to hype the crowd up. <clears throat> and that's basically what this is actually going to be. Dude, I feel like you've been eating that ice cream for hours. No, like, I, are you taking like one bite every ten minutes? No, well I hadn't because oh, I had an actual drink with my meal and I, I, I it melted and I finished my meal. It took me a little while to eat it all. And then I took a few bites. <clears throat> I was like, hey, I want to help put everything up. No, no weird. So, <clears throat> so I sit over there by my. Head. So, wow. So. so not only did they sit on the wrong side, I then choose the wrong player. You know what? It's fine. Just everyone indecisive is the one playing Snake. Yeah. Top, top player um, Honestly. All, all they're focusing on is uh, the games. Not anything else. They could be sitting on, on an elephant's butt and not wouldn't be really so focused. Yo, the indecisive Yoshi! Yeah. Indecisive Yoshi. Didn't know they were um gentlemaning the first main game one. Yeah. <clears throat> right now Spencer and Spencer's just uh pulling grenades, doing what Snake does. Doing beer versus able to dodge that back here and not get damaged from it. Snake, Snake likes to just um, be in your space without actually being in your space. All, you know, yeah. you, I feel like when you commentate, it's like ASMR, because you have such like a voice. Like a, your voice is kind of low. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're, it's very like soft. Yeah. I do have a very, also a very big, loud boomy voice, but I usually don't use it. Right, blow right. The room up. Yeah, no, like, I, I'd go unconscious if yeah. you use it this close. <laughs> yeah. Like, remember that, remember that one scene from, or, have you seen the new, the, one of the Marvel movies that came out? Um, I can't remember, remember they put the multiverse. Thanks Wednesday. for coming. Yeah. Bye. Good to see you all. Yo, we'll have to play some more friendlies next time I see you. 100%, bro. Yeah, money match. Don't forget it. <laughs> steal your money. Did you play friendlies with him today? No, I'm not oh. here right now. Yeah, yeah, you He's got your way. Anyways, um, remember that multiverse thing? Marvel movie? I haven't like, seen Doctor Strange yet. Okay, the well, new one. well, it's not the second Doctor Strange one. It's a diff the different one. Oh, the Spider-Man one? Um, no. Well, what? It's when Doctor Strange and this other girl like travel in different universes. I haven't seen that. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Thanks for coming. Thanks for your. Thanks for your captaining. See y'all. Thanks for coming. Yeah, good job, media. Peace out. Tremendous convention. Yeah, I mean, there were some issues at the start, but it actually ended up good. Yeah, that hurt me to do. How do you feel? Seven. Yes or no? Right now, should I buy a lightsaber? Yes. Fuck. Got. Yeah, hold on. Let's do a poll in the chat. Yoshi currently mashing nail. That would have been a very good opportunity. Yo, I'm a white person is just so good in shield. Even when you think you're like you've got an advantage on him when he's in shield, like he's Yoshi, he's just gonna. Alright, get your votes in. Defenses. One minute. Should Goose Fancy buy a lightsaber at Tremendicon? They have a vendor selling lightsabers. <clears throat> Could a low dip there and Justin trying to avoid that C4. Also with the armor. Sorry. Oh, I'm surprised by that it's like at least like $150. It's for a it's the the cheapest one's $100. Good fairway. Catch moves. I want to do that. Not quite. Oh, Too man, good on that. It's not looking good for me. <laughs> Let's go, Spencer! So these guys earlier in bracket had a very close set in oh. Diddy Snake. Diddy yeah, Snake. it was 3-1 and the games were, were overall close, I heard. 
Oh, that roll around. You should be able to punish that pretty easily with that now. Now, these players have played close in the past in this matchup, but I feel like Justin just always edges out the win, and that's just passing. Oh! Yeah, that bounce is nice. Like that. Covering everything but get of attack. Hey, switch players! The player on the left is player one. Well, I thought he was gonna sit on the left, like I told him earlier. <laughs> Spencer, you're clutching that out. A good um, coverage for that down smash. I think most of the time, it's my best to get a attack. When, and when, and when you're in the corner throws, right yeah, there? In the, in the corner there, that's the best option. Because down smash covers every other option. Like, especially that back hit, that was the best option you could have done because the back hit's stronger. Really? Plus, he charges it. Yeah, so Beastly right. Piano Man is a snake man from Springfield, for those who don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, but Spencer kind of outboxing Yoshi. That's a little bit... Honestly, I think Snake has a bit more range. Like, both vertically and horizontally with his tilts. Plus, a dash attack is really good at just... Getting Yoshi off of him, <clears throat> um, and also just punishing his landing. And Yoshi, like, I mean, Yoshi's landing here and there and everywhere with his aerials. Right. And um, Snake's dash attack does a perfect job at covering just about any any approach, as long as he has that up spacing on. But um, Spencer. Well, I noticed he, he was um, a bit a little smarter with his DI, trying to stay closer to center of the That's why he didn't get hit by that up there after he forward tilted. Either that or maybe it was the angle that support that hits. Justin just missed it. Usually I see Justin hit that combo, but I know he's in a little bit of a, a bad spot. Has a lot of things that um, take him out here. He's, he's, Keeps getting hit by all these grenades. I'm gonna put this in between us. Yeah. You, you don't have to sit closer. Yeah. I just, it's better. To, right. I don't need to see anything right there. Yeah. Yeah, all these grenades and stuff, like that one right there. You keep, you keep trying to hit a shield, and um, every time he is, um, he, Spencer's always got that grenade to, uh, you know, cover him to uh, <clears throat> keep Justin in the air. Which is honestly, I think, where the best place for him to be is in the air. Sticking out his legs though into that up there. Yeah. But uh, Justin's somehow catching catching Snake. <clears throat> Snake with uh, with his up air. In the air. Now the air air wars, Yoshi definitely, you know, beats Snake pretty heavily. Most characters do. Yeah. I mean I feel like this is when the matchup gets hard, is when Yoshi has a lead like this, and it's very hard to actually kill him. Mm -hmm. Without committing to something, you know. Yeah, but I think <clears throat> even then, Snake hardly even struggles because he has such a good camping game and setups. Like Yoshi isn't gonna try to approach him when he's doing setups and stuff. He'll just continue to get blown up, and he'll <clears throat> most likely get get a grab if if um, Yoshi, you know, Justin goes into you know attack him. Right. He'll, he'll be most likely force the shield so he doesn't die, and then Snake has that free grab. <coughs> but oh, unfortunate. Fortunately, to be there with that super. Uh, no, Spencer has a good mentality, so that won't shake too much. <coughs> but Yoshi just kind of sticking his tongue out and drawing Snake in into his inner belly. Oh, oh. the belly of the monster. <laughs> As the prophet Jonah once, once uh, was, he was in the belly of the monster. Snake, kind of, kind of getting that same, same, uh, you know, experience there, having to uh, suffer in the, inside of a Yoshi's belly. Um, who, who, who wants to? I don't think I don't anybody know. would like to be oh, inside no, of Yoshi's that's, belly. That's got to be one of the foulest locations known to man. Yeah. I mean, who, who knows? Other than eggs popping out, who knows what else is in there? Oh, th thousands of children. <laughs> Yo, Yoshi bodies. Is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but good coverage there. Even though you know, Indecisive tried to keep it, to try to go as low as fast as possible. Even even though that forward air from Yoshi missed, like Yoshi's airspeed isn't, and it's 
fall speed isn't that isn't that fast, and he's able to get a, a double jump nair out of that to seal the deal there. And um, and honestly, in the air matchup, you know, Yoshi, I think Yoshi wins 75-25. Because in the air matchup, yeah, what do you mean by that? Because well, like, well, Yoshi is one of the best characters in the air, other than definitely. Like Falco. And like, definitely maybe. can outmaneuver and punish oh, uh, yeah. Snake in the air. Yeah, and he, he can also take you know a couple hits or a hit with his armor and, uh, and stuff. But you know, Snake primarily wants needs to stay on the ground here and, and um, camp him out and outbox him because he can outrange most most of his. You know, as I said earlier, with his dash attack and down tilt, you can just outmaneuver him and outspace him with those those tilts. Cause they're really good, especially with down tilt. If you buffer it, you have one frame, um, <laughs> uh, frame one. Um, <clears throat> what is it? Um, you know, debt or uh, to toppy. You see, he didn't say that Snake loses 75-25. He said that the matchup in the air is 75-25. See, you don't understand like the level of comprehension that Beastly Piano Man is is talking about yeah. with Smash right now. I'm I'm ultra metagaming into the uh, into the outer universe of I don't know. <laughs> you know. I got you. You don't know, but we know. We I know, but I know. So so complicated and in depth that I don't know. <laughs> but Spencer, despite this lead, never or not lead, but even that, that high percent, you know, Yoshi can just, especially with him having a lead, just can kind of start, you know, pushing buttons on him, and Snake can have a hard time, you know, oh, punching him. Um, unless he has a grenade to help save him, or that downer downer space right. But, <laughs> what, a, what a perfect tag. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he plays the piano, too. Yeah. And, <laughs> and BPM is good. also an acronym for beats per minute, and I use, it's a, what I use to practice. Beats. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <clears throat> Back to this matchup. Um, Yoshi, I, I think, when Yoshi tries to go in just to, you know, just to oh. hit the buttons into a, you know, especially with Nair and back air, you know, grenade just absolutely destroys him. Unless he spaces it right, like back air, he can, he can drift, oh. he can drift back and, and um, avoid the grenade, but unless, you know, Spencer has a grenade placed on the other side of him or something, then Yoshi just, just kind of sometimes space out with his areas, but right here, um, wasn't too mindful of that grenade, and I think whenever whenever a lot of people play against Snake, when they're starting to do their combos, like especially in this situation, he was doing his up like forward to like up airs and whatnot. Like everybody always tends to try to keep that train going instead of realize that Snake has a one frame one option, you know, out of tumble grenade that blows him up and causes causes a trade a trade to go on. Right. I think I think they should, um, you know, realize that and you know space around it because otherwise you're gonna get blown up and you know, if you get blown up, Snake can just totally go off of that and do a ton of damage or take the stock up of up there or, or whatnot. If you're on a platform up tilt, but oh, that's gonna uh, be the gets, game. Gets the shield break there. Did a, did a lot better to kind of keep the lead. I think that's the main thing was he was keeping the lead and not not allowing Snake to hit him with any of his kill moves until he already had a big lead. What do you mean? Uh, just don't use it. I'll update the score. Yep, beastly piano man. That's a game. That's a, a game beastly? for Spencer for that back talk. Are you a beastly piano fan? <clears throat> Yo, yeah, where are my Beastly Piano fans at in the chat? Probably sleeping because I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they're probably not here currently, yeah. but... <laughs> no offense, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyways, right there, Justin tried to, you know, cross him up with back air. I don't know what he was trying to do. I don't know if, if he, you know, thought he was going to hit him with his back air or if he knew Spencer was going to shield it. But he, he tried to cross him up or something. Uh, but Spencer was able to punish that with the until I was at, at a shield drop. Uh, but keeping this fairly even. Right now, Spencer just kind of controlling the space every time Justin tries to come in and come in and hit him. That's that's one of the really the only thing that um, Yoshi can do is come in and hit him. Just because the only other um, option that he has is um, egg, which is I mean decent, but it can be avoided pretty yeah. pretty easily. Ooh. They always roll out there. Yeah. I, I had to say that loud enough, Justin might hear. Yeah. <laughs> The mind games? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the noob slayer. <laughs> the noob slayer. Of course it would work on Justin. Yes. The ultimate noob. <laughs> <laughs> Not 20, 19, 20, or 21 anymore, but he's Justin Yeah, he 22. evolved. I honestly, I'm he's just 21, evolving. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I feel like Justin 21 was different. A bit different. Justin 22, you know, this is a growing phrase, phase, I think. Once he grows out of this, when Justin 23 comes, he'll be you know, top 50 player in the world. Oh yeah. I can hear Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know who's playing it, but... Oh, Spencer holding this lead, not allowing Yoshi to come in with his kill moves. Like oh, right, right wow. there, he had a you know mortar to cover him. Yeah, that was a really good mortar. Oh, oh almost maybe able to get yeah, an upper out of that, it, but I, not quite. But it was not close. too close. Very close. Right now, I, you know, this is a very good spot for you know, Snake. That's C4. With this percent, like, how, this long is, is, how long is that C4 been there? Oh, uh, he just put it down. Okay. Like ten seconds. Wow, Are you indecisive. In the... Looking like we yep. might be going to a game five. Yeah, I think the situation right here is. Um, you know, Spencer realizing that Justin is kind of pushing it a little bit oh, wow. and not, you know, not giving him space. And that's why he's able to get so many combos and, you know, he just got to stick with it. You know, Justin's realizing, I need to be careful around these grenades. You know, now Indecisive gets that mix-up on him, you know, puts puts that uh, you know, C4 on him, sticky on him, off the platform, you know, mixed him up, schmixed him up. This just mm. feels like such a snowball-y matchup to me. Like, I feel like yeah. whoever can get a good lead at the start just wins. And there is she. Because, like, they both struggle to take the lead back from each other, you know? Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna say a hot take right now. I think Snake um, Cypher, he, he just tried to taunt right there. What? I, I, I think it was, was a misinput. Yeah, that was a misinput, I think. Definitely a misinput. Anyways, I think, you know, hot take, Snake Cypher is... Um, I honestly think his third best projectile. Really? Apart, apart from Grenade and um, Nikita. Interesting. I think it's probably tied with with Grenade. No, not, no. No, okay. I was about to say, hold on. No, no, no. Okay. No, I wouldn't say it. No. Nik maybe Nikita, because Nikita serves a slightly different purpose, but the, the amount of times I always see every people, no matter how hard they try to hit the C4, or not the C4, the, the Cypher, they always get hit by it every time you're. Yeah, down. that's uh, the, and, the amount of stocks that Nick, or that Cipher has saved is thousands. Yeah, hundreds, thousands, thousands of times. So many Cypher, times. that little helicopter drone yeah. has saved Snake. It's crazy, not also because it has a decent amount of, you know, um, hit stone that where I can drop from ledge and if I have a C4 by the ledge where they're at, I can take the stock that way. I, I can combo C4. I've done it before. C4 or, or Cypher and a C4. I've done uh -huh. Cypher and an up air. I've <laughs> comboed Cypher and an air before. And four. But have you comboed game four and a game five? What do you mean by I, that? <laughs> I, like that was like that was the hardest segue of all time. Don't don't disagree. Yeah, I mean you're right. I mean, oh, we're you know, on pound. Spencer, what do you think about this stage? Almost getting a three stack that last game, but. Um, this this stage, it's got a honestly, lot of space for Yoshi, but I don't think it's bad for Snake. In this I, I think it's just even even better. It gives it gives Snake more space because Yoshi always likes to, you know, rush down Snake and hit a shield, just like you know Justin's been doing. But his last game, we could see heavily he was getting punished by doing that. Got them opinions. <laughs> opinions were like facts. He's got them onions. facts. 
Oh no. Where, uh, where was that joke the... going? I don't know. Anyways. Like, Cypher definitely underrated. Like, right here, he had to shield the Cypher. Yeah. Like, if he didn't wasn't shielding, it would have gone away. Snake could have... And, and plus, if he had a grenade there, you know, Snake could have easily gotten back to stage. No no ledge guarding there. Oh, man. I feel like this first stock is going to decide everything. Yeah. Like I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Yo! How much was it? 140 dollars. This is one of the cheapest ones. The cheapest oh one? no, an unfortunate Nikita the wrong way. Oh, it's game five? Yeah. Oh, safe, safe back here. It's not chill. over yet, though. He wasn't able to punish it, but getting that nair, not able to take it though. Oh no, no, that's still not gonna yeah, kill. Yeah, that time he tried it down there, but well. you know Justin had a little more space on him. But that nair, you gotta take the stock this time. Spencer, you know, slowing the pace down. So, just honestly, a bit. I can see, I can see a timeout in game five. Yeah, I like think... if Spencer decides to camp from behind. We're gonna see a time. Bro! Oh, but that back roll from Yoshi, oh my God, just a he, little short. He still gets the up tilt, yeah, and now up -tilt. The, this is so close, it doesn't matter still. Mm -hmm. The Yo, snowball so. was stopped. Yeah. Oh. Able to kind of recognize, you know, every time Justin is landing, he, you know, he, he's trying to, you know, Ooh, trying to mix damage. him up a little bit. You know, the way Yoshi likes to land, it's either with back air, you know, Nair. Danner does right. a lot of shield pressure, but, you know, Spencer are able to recognize, yeah, I can just roll out here if you're going to try to land those ways you and know, avoid every one of them. We, Spencer is a very conservative player and yeah. neutral. Oh, I bad wonder, it up I wonder if we're going to see a random super aggressive oh, option to spike. take a stock, like, early. Oh, stage oh, spike slightly. Oh, this is so bad, though. No. Oh, that back air, though. At, at earlier percent than than usual, I think, in that situation, in the edge guard, you know, if Yoshi's able to keep keep him up, up on, on the edge, he's able to take stocks a little earlier with that back air. Like, oh, you know, the sides are... didn't think he was going to parry that or he could have got a punish. Oh, but it has, has him a really high percentage. One down, throw four, tilt, will take it. Um, but I think that's why, in this, these high percents, Justin, Justin may try to opt to you know, stay off of the ground, um, but, you know, low, pri low profile in that with down tilt, you know, the frame, frame one low profile out of buffer down tilt that I was trying to, you know, mention earlier. With that side oh, beam, wow. somehow he wasn't able to punish it. it as, as weird as... <laughs> Apparently it, it's kind weirdest. of hard to punish, weirdly. Yeah. But it also, like, does nothing. Oh! A little oh, late on that. See, he, this is he the snowball I was talking about. How do you kill Justin when he's playing like this, a snake? I think Spencer, as you said earlier, could have might have been able to get a grab or something or a dash attack. That would have taken a stock. But, you know, Spencer here is not, not, you know, a little slow on the the punishes. I think that's going to take All him. All right. But this is this could be potentially even. He's he's got to keep the ground and keep stage control, but. This fourth throw, I'm um, gonna may, may decide what, what's gonna happen. If he keeps the close uh -oh. throw, he doesn't have much to hold him, but no grenades to to keep him, you know, from from his ledge ledge traps. I think that's where Yoshi really you know shines in this matchup. And most most characters really, Snake has pretty like easy, you know, ledge get up options. You know, to spot and to see, because you know, especially at high percent, it's a little slower to see. It's harder, it's easier to punish.